I'm sorry I have a bad memory. And uh, hello to all of you. And uh, welcome to uh, a part to the uh, part of the real world. Uh, first, I'm uh, honored to be uh, here with all of you today. Uh, and for that, I would like to thank Index on Censorship Organization um, for giving me this award and for believing in me and for acknowledging our work back home. I want to thank my friends who join me every day, every time in painting the walls of the streets and who share with me the same concerns over the issues that are really important. I also want to thank the good people of Yemen who have always supported us and who were the spirit of every campaign I launched to paint in the streets. I would like to take this opportunity tonight to shed a light on one of the biggest concerns for me and for many uh, Yemenis, I, I am sure. As many of you know, Yemen is going through one of the hardest times in its history with the outbreak of internal and regional armed conflicts. Yemen suffered greatly even before these conflicts broke out and they are going through uh, this alone. Yeah, this alone. But it seems that the heavy losses that Yemenis suffer and endure every day is it enough yet to capture the interest of the internal community and media. I dedicate this award today to the unknown soldiers who have struggled to survive. And I do not talk about those weapons who, uh, those soldiers who are fighting the war by their weapons. Rather, I talk about every person who suffers a serious injury, who lost a family member or a loved one who lost their home, school, and job, and who struggled to keep their family alive when they were starved to death. Those women, men, and children are the real heroes that we all should bow in to in respect for moving on and holding on to life. Therefore, for the world presidents, kings, and leaders who misuse their power, it is true that you might never be tried, but you should know that you are leaving behind a dirty legacy in the time when you should concentrate on the real issues that are facing humanity. Rather than not throwing mindless words and engaging the world in killing one another. Again, I thank Index on Censorship Organization and all its team for this award. And I thank you all for listening to my chair and sharing my concerns with you. Let's hope for peace to prevail in Yemen as soon as it can be. Thank you very much.